Hey everybody, welcome to another devotion time together. This is Chris. Thanks for being with me today. We're going to spend some time thinking about the resurrection of Jesus. Quite frankly, the Christian church does not exist without the resurrection of Jesus. And it's incredibly mysterious. There's not a whole lot that we can explain about that moment in our Christian tradition, our faith traditions. And if people try to explain away, you know, in simple terms, um, well, I think they're missing a lot of details there. It's an incredibly important but mysterious part of our faith. We don't know how Jesus was raised from the dead by God, but we know that God did raise Jesus from the dead. And we are sort of witnesses to that. We're here because of that. The Christian church exists as a result of that defining moment. But what I want to also emphasize here is because of the resurrection, we have a pathway to forgiveness, which is an alternative pathway to a life of, you know, living in a kingdom of darkness, let's say. Um, today, it just feel like, it feels like there's an overwhelming amount of anxiety and fear that people hold. Uh, I would say that some people are, are, are even hopeless. There's a hopelessness. And the resurrection of Jesus gives us that alternative path, which is a path of forgiveness. A forgiveness of God for, for the ways that we've sort of not been faithful or not been the best versions of ourselves, the way that we've not treated ourselves well or have treated others well uh, or even treated God well. And it gives us an opportunity to be restored and reclaimed for the ways that we've not been the best versions of ourselves. And that path is, is forgiveness. And we're united, really, with Jesus in this resurrection narrative of new life. This forgiveness gives us new life in God, with God, and with one another. There's this cool passage in Romans chapter 6, verses 4 and 5 I'm going to read that talks about from Paul being united with Jesus in his death and in his resurrection. Check it out. Romans 6, chapter or chapter 6, verses 4 and 5 says this. We, Christians, were therefore buried with him, with Christ, through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we, Christians, too, may live a new life. As a result of our baptism, if we've been united with Christ, with him, in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. And that resurrection is a new life. Friends, we are a people of forgiveness. Regardless of where you've been or what you've done, each and every one of us are the beloveds of Jesus Christ. We are being united with Christ in this newness because of this forgiveness. And the forgiveness is only made a reality because of the resurrection of Jesus. Friends, it's mysterious. And I invite you to dig into more scripture, learning more about the resurrection of Jesus, but also basking in that good news that we are a people of forgiveness. So go out into the world being freed. Know that you are the beloved and share that love with one another and with God in that resurrection, really Easter uh, tide, being an Easter tide people. Friends, we love you. Looking forward to connecting with you. Think about the resurrection. Romans chapter 6, verses 4 and 5, being united with Jesus in his death and also being united with Jesus in his resurrection. We'll see you soon. Bye.